Hi everyone. So, um, the last couple of videos on this playlist, I have been focusing mainly on negative externalities. I talked about negative externalities of production and how they link with common pool resources. I also talked about negative externalities of consumption and how they link with demerit goods. So this video, I'm going to focus more on positive externalities of production. So today I'll be talking about positive externalities of production. What are they? Well, basically, a positive externality of production occurs when the production decision of a producer generates external benefits or positive externalities for the rest of society. So one producer's production decision is actually generating benefits for the rest of society. In this case, the marginal social cost will be lower than the marginal private cost because when you add that external benefit to the marginal private cost, to get the marginal social cost, you an, an external benefit is basically like it's a negative cost, right? So what it does is it, it creates this uh, outcome where marginal social cost is less than MPC, uh, marginal private cost. The production of this good or service generates external benefits for the rest of society. Now, the result of this is that QM, the market produced quantity, will be less than QOP to the socially optimum quantity or like the quantity at which allocative efficiency is achieved. So this creates a welfare loss um, um, due to this under allocation of resources. So what does the diagram look like? So on the demand side, the MPB and the MSB align. There is no so just imagine that they are one curve. That's D equals MPB equals MSB. On the supply side, there are two positively sloping curves. Okay, there is the supply curve, which is the MPC and the MSC. All right, but the MSC is lower than the MPC. Now, remember, I stress this in every video. The intersection of MPB and MPC, this one here, will give us the market charged, the price charged by the market PM and the quantity produced by the market QM. But the intersection of MSB and MSC, this point here, will give us the point of allocative efficiency where we can get Q opt, the socially optimum quantity, and P opt, the socially optimum price. Now you can see the distance between QM and QM, Q opt is an underproduction due to an under allocation of resources to the production of this product. There is an underproduction. The vertical distance between the MSC and the MSB, that's the size of the positive externality or the size of the external benefits. And to find the welfare loss, you have to find a triangle that points from QM to QOPT. So you can see here, this triangle that points from QM to QOPT, that is your welfare loss. Now, what are some examples of products what are some examples of products that generate, uh, maybe I should move this. There we go. Examples of products that have positive externalities of production. So all infrastructure projects, okay, like highways, railway lines, ports, airports, um, the, they generate external benefits for the rest of society because they help interconnect society more, which boosts trade and creates jobs and so on. Um, also, I don't know why. Oh, now I know why. Reforestation efforts. Okay, reforestation efforts, especially at the age we live in right now. Anyone who's planting um, trees and especially in the forests and help is helping combat climate change, right? Because reforestation efforts, planting trees, trees will actually capture carbon from the atmosphere um, and give us oxygen. So it kind of offsets carbon emissions. Uh, the production of public transport services. Again, public transport is much better for the environment. Um, if uh, it, 40 cars are off the road because the people driving those cars are all taking a bus or a train, that's good for the environment. Tree growing, gardening, landscaping, again, all of these services uh, make the area that we live in look good. They generate positive externalities. Public parks is the same thing, building public parks. All of these are examples of products um, that generate positive externalities of production. So how can the government, let me move my face down here. How can the government correct 
market failure due to positive externalities of production. Now, remember, this market failure takes the form of an under allocation of resources. And the result of this under allocation of resources is that the market will underproduce. They will be under production. How can the government correct this kind of market failure? Okay, well, there are two main strategies. Number one, subsidies. Subsidies will shift the MPC curve to the right and bring it closer to the MSC, which will bring QM closer to QOPT. Okay, this, however, comes at an opportunity cost and requires that the government be able to justify those expenses to taxpayers because ultimately the main source of government revenue is taxes, which are collected from the taxpayers. So, so in a democracy, the government has to be able to justify those expenses. So subsidies will shift the MPC curve to the right, bring it closer to the MSC. Remember, MPC, MPB will give us PM and QM. Oh, maybe I'll put it here, QM. And this will shift QM closer to QOPT, which is this point here. QM is this point here. QOPT is this point here. Okay. Shifting the MPC um, to the right, bringing it closer to MSC will also increase QM and bring it closer to QOPT and hopefully lower the price and bring it closer to POPT. Okay, another strategy that the government can use, uh, which also has the same diagram, direct provision. Subsidies and direct provision are the same because they both increase the supply of the product. They shift the MPC curve to the right and bring it closer to MSC, which brings QM closer to QOPT. Again, direct provision comes at an opportunity cost. Anything that requires government spending comes at an opportunity cost. This is money that could be spent elsewhere. Right, providing better uh, health care, providing better, better education and so on, and needs to be justified to taxpayers. So in this video, I introduced uh, positive externalities of production. I gave examples of products that generate these externalities. I talked about the diagram, the welfare loss, and the external benefits. And I talked about strategies the government can use to correct this type of market failure, which include subsidies and direct provision. Please like, share, subscribe, um, check out the links in the video description below. Consider becoming a channel member. Um, it's a great way to access exclusive content and to support the channel as well. If you enjoy these videos, have a great one. Bye.